Next Move Group, the voice of economic development. Here's your host, Brandon Nettles. So this is Brandon Nettles. In this week's Round in the Basin segment, I'll be detailing new industrial announcements from across America. To start us off this week, congrats to our friend Adrian Kennedy in Temple, Texas. Rowan Green Data plans to invest $300 million to build a new hyperscale data center campus uh, in Temple. So congrats to Adrian and Temple. Ford Motor Company and SK Innovation, y'all probably seen this one. They're going to invest a total of $11.4 billion to develop and build new electric uh, vehicle batteries at plants in Kentucky and Tennessee. The combined projects are expected to create 11,000 jobs. Visa has announced plans to open a new hub in Atlanta, Georgia. The project is expected to create approximately 1,000 jobs in the region over the next several years. Harbor Steel and Supply Corporation will construct a facility in Bowling Green, Kentucky with an $8 million investment. Smith & Wesson Brands Incorporated will, will relocate its HQ and other major operations from Springfield, Massachusetts uh, to Maryville, Tennessee. The $125 million project is expected to create 750 new jobs in Blount County. Veronese, uh, they're an Italian company, uh, the Veronese Holdings. They're going to establish its first U.S. production operation in Rockingham County, Virginia. The project is expected to create more than 150 new jobs over the next four years. Nissan opened a, a more than $40 million safety advancement lab for vehicle safety testing at its Nissan Technical Center in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Mohawk Industries will invest $87 million to grow its laminate a uh, manufacturing facility in Thomasville, North Carolina. The project is expected to create 87 jobs in Davidson County. ARIA plans to invest more than $12.4 million in expand operations in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The project is expected to create over 100 jobs over the next two years. Shock will invest $85 million to establish its first U.S. manufacturing operation in Henry County, Virginia. The project is expected to create 355 new jobs. Corning Incorporated will invest $150 million to expand operations in Hickory, North Carolina. The project is expected to create 200 jobs in Hickory. Smokercraft Incorporated plans to expand operations in New Paris, Indiana. The project is expected to create up to 100 jobs by the end of 2024. Terran Orbital will invest more than $300 million to build its commercial spacecraft and constellation facility in Merritt Island, Florida. The project is expected to create approximately 2,100 new jobs. Crown Holdings Incorporated will establish its aluminum beverage can manufacturing facility in Mesquite, Nevada. The project is, is expected to create 126 new jobs. Helix Electric will build a manufacturing facility in Goodyear, Arizona. The project is expected to create 100 new jobs. Rivian is establishing its new services support operations uh, facility in Plymouth, Michigan. The project is expected to create 100 new high wage jobs. Home Depot will uh, expand operations, growing its supply chain and distribution operations in Charleston, Greenville, Jasper, and Lexington County, South Carolina. So that's a big win for South Carolina. The project are expected to create roughly 100 new jobs. Ball Corporation plans to build a new U.S. aluminum uh, beverage packaging plant in, Las, in North Las Vegas, Nevada. The $290 million project is expected to create roughly 180 new jobs. Paragon Medical started construction on a new manufacturing facility in Pearson, Indiana. The project will be uh, supported by an initial investment of $16 million with an anticipated total investment of $19 million over the next five years. Virginia Industrial Plastics Incorporated plans to expand its manufacturing facility in Elkton, Virginia. The project is expected to create 92 new jobs in Rockingham County. Florham USA will invest about $35 million to expand operations at its facility in Clarksville, Tennessee. Finally, Mars Pet Care will invest $117 million at its manufacturing plant in Fort Smith, Arkansas. The project is expected to create 140 new full-time jobs. That's gonna round us out for this week. Uh, let us know if you have any announcements you'd like me to feature, and I'll see you next time. Due to various demands on time and resources, economic development and trade and export agencies often struggle to complete effective market research and business outreach campaigns. For the past 10 plus years, Research FDI, along with our affiliated consulting groups at Research B2B, and FDI 365 have leveraged our in-house knowledge, resources, and expertise in market research and consulting to help over 250 organizations directly facilitate inward investment attraction and new trade and export opportunities for their regions across a wide variety of industry sectors. Our highly personalized services and best cost to quality ratio in the industry ensures our client satisfaction, leading to repeat customers year after year what are you waiting for? Leave the market research and business outreach to the expert team at Research FDI. 
To learn more about our services, contact us today.